Hi, this is Jay from Washington County Free Library Young Adult Department. I would like to show you the easiest peanut butter cookie recipe you could have ever hoped for. All you need is three ingredients. <laughs> peanut butter, sugar, and an egg. And that's it. So, let's begin. Uh, first, we're gonna have one cup of peanut butter. Here's our measuring cup. Now what starts with the letter C? Cookie starts with C. Let's think of other things that starts with C. All right, got one cup of peanut butter. Go ahead and put it in our mixing bowl. Okay, cut our peanut butter. Next up is the sugar. We're gonna need one cup of sugar. I'm gonna measure it over another smaller bowl to level it off. Who cares about the other things? We got our leveled off cup of sugar. We're gonna put it in with the peanut butter. and mix until they're thoroughly combined. It'll take a couple minutes. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. All right, so it should look like this after the peanut butter and sugar are mixed. Last ingredient is one egg. So let's go ahead and add the egg. Might wanna crack it into a bowl ahead of time to make sure you don't put any eggshells in your cookies. All right, I think I'm eggshell free, so I'm gonna go ahead and stir. So there's the egg. We're gonna stir it into the sugar and peanut butter. Cookie cookie starts with C. Oh, C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. All right. So once the egg is in, the peanut butter dough looks like cookie dough, which it is. <laughs> Next, we're going to prepare to bake these peanut butter cookies by getting a tray ready. So we need a cookie sheet. I got one right here. So here's the cookie sheet. Doesn't really matter what kind of cookie sheet it is as long as it fits in your oven. And this here is called parchment paper. Parchment paper is a baker's delight because it keeps your cookies from sticking to your cookie sheet. So this is the brand of parchment paper I have. There's other brands out there. It all pretty much works the same way. All you gotta do is cut it to the right size to fit on your cookie sheet, and then you won't have to worry about greasing it. If you don't have parchment paper, you could rub some shortening on the surface of the cookie sheet before you put the cookies down. So, next thing we're gonna do with our peanut butter cookies is, I use an ice cream scoop when I'm making cookies just to make sure they're all the same size. You want them all to be the same size or else they might burn uh, if some are bigger or smaller than others. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up one of these um, scoopfuls of cookie dough, pack it down, level it off with my finger. Okay, so I've got a ice cream scoop full of peanut butter cookie dough. I'm gonna scoop it into my hand and then roll the dough to make a little ball of peanut butter. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Hey, you know what? A round cookie with one bite out of it looks like a C. A round donut with one bite out of it also looks like a C. But it is not as good as a cookie. Oh, the moon sometimes looks like a C, but you can't eat that. So, 
C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Yeah, C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, 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 start with C. Yeah, cookie, 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 start with C. Oh, boy, cookie, 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 start with C. All right, so we've got our tray of peanut butter cookie dough balls. That uh, one recipe makes about 14 cookies. Obviously, if you want more than 14 cookies, you can just increase your peanut butter, increase your sugar, and increase your egg. So it's very easy to remember. One cup peanut butter, one cup sugar, one egg. If you want to make a, like 100 peanut butter cookies, you could do seven cups of peanut butter, seven cups of sugar, and seven eggs. Um, etc. So now, right before we put them in the oven, we want to make the little traditional peanut butter cookie pattern on the top of the ball. So we're going to just use a fork and let's see if I can show you here. Lower the camera a little bit. All right, so I'm going to smash the, the peanut butter cookie balls with the fork both ways. So now it looks like a peanut butter cookie. Well, it looks like a, going to be a peanut butter cookie after we bake it, but that pattern will stay as it's baking. So let's go ahead and do that to all dough. Hello there. Me want to talk to you. Do you have cookies? Me want cookie. <gasps> cookie! going to vary by your oven. I think the baking time tends to be about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go put these in the oven and I'll show you the tray of finished cookies. Once we're done. So here's our finished plate of cookies. Let me show you one of these babies. Mm. Now, I'm not going to torture you by smelling or eating one of these cookies in front of you. Isn't that unfair? When you see a cooking video or baking video, and at the end you have to watch the person who just made this food item eat it, and you can't eat it with them, and they smell it, and you can't smell it with them, I'm not going to do that. I'll just show you these cookies. So the way that you can get the experience of smelling and eating these cookies is to follow this recipe yourself at home. And we hope that you will. So uh, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon at the library. So, you ready? Well, do you want to try to dump that in the bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to need to use this. Here, you hold it. It's definitely going to be yummy. You're going to get to taste it. Yep. Yep.
Keep mixing.